Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Zomberry admin tools mod working on your Daisy server. What we'll be doing is installing Zomberry as well as the Daisy community framework mod, which is needed to make Zomberry run. Unfortunately, for this to work, you have to do it on a fresh server. There is a way to get around it where you can keep your server the way it is. It's a little bit more of a surgical installation. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to do it simple with a fresh server. So before we start, I'm just going to go to my Daisy server file, right click on it and delete it. We'll go back into Steam, right click on Daisy server, manage, uninstall. And now we'll click install. And this will give us a fresh place to start with on our daisy server and now that we have a fresh daisy server to work with we're gonna go into the daisy server folder next we're gonna go to the daisy community framework github page and go to the latest releases and we're gonna download this file here at cf.zip and then we're going to extract the contents of that folder and you should get a folder that looks like this at cf with these files in it we're going to drag this folder into the root directory of our server. So that is the daisy server folder. And similarly, we're going to go to the Zomberry daisy admin tools github page as well. Go to the releases and download the at zomberry.zip file. And same thing, we're just going to extract it and it will come with a folder like this at zomberry with very similar looking files. And we'll just click and drag that to the root of the daisy server folder as well. Next, we'll open this keys folder in a new window because we're gonna have to copy some files into this folder now. So we'll go into the at CF folder and there's a keys folder here and we're gonna copy this file and we're gonna paste it into this keys folder. And then we'll go back to the daisy folder and now we'll go into the zomberry folder which also has a keys folder and also has its own file like this. We're gonna copy this file and paste it into this folder as well. So now we need to run the server with these mods active and that's going to produce some new files in the daisy server folder. So if we launch the server right now, it's not gonna use the mods. We haven't told the server to use the mods yet. In order for the server to run with the mods active, we're going to have to set up a script that's going to handle those instructions. And this is really easy. We're just going to copy and paste an existing script. But first, we need to create a blank text file in this folder. So we'll just right click new text document and you can call it whatever you want, like start, launch, whatever. And you're going to open it in a text editor. You could use Notepad, but you should really be using Notepad++. And the script we're going to use is on this web page. I'll put a link in the description to this web page. And you can see this white block here. This is the script that we need. So we're just going to highlight this whole script, copy, and we'll go to our text editor and paste it in. And then right away, you want to go to file, save as, and then for save as type, we're going to pick batch file and click save. And a batch file is like a set of instructions that you can tell your computer. It's kind of like a program. So this is basically the application we're going to run when we want to start our server. And we have here a whole bunch of server settings. This is where we can tell the server which mods we want to run. At the top, we can set our server name. We'll just call it swashed server. And then down here where it says set mod list, this is where we're going to add our mods. And you can see here the format is mod equals, and then you put the mod name at mod one, semicolon at mod two. So the mods that we're adding are at CF and at Zomberry. So for the mod list, we do dash mod equals at CF, semicolon, and then at Zomberry, semicolon. And we can now save this file and close the text editor. Now we're going to double click this batch file and it's going to run our server for us. And that pops up this white console window that is just a log of the server starting up. Since this is the first time the server is starting with Zomberry, it's going to create all these additional files in this daisy server folder. And now we're just gonna add ourselves as an admin on Zomberry so we can actually use the admin tools. So we go into this profile folder 
and there will now be a zomberry folder this was just made and in this folder there's going to be an admins.cfg file we're going to right click that and open that with a text editor and you'll see this random number here so this number is a placeholder for a steam user id this is how you add admins to zomberry you have to take a player's steam user id and add it into this folder each line one at a time so we're just going to delete the placeholder and we're going to go get our steam user id so here we are on steam we can just go to our user profile and on the top left window of steam there's this steamcommunity.com link and it says steamcommunity.com slash profiles slash and then a very similar looking number so that is our steam user id you can just click on that and it will copy it automatically go into the admins.cfg file and paste it in there and just remove all the extra text around this number so now we can save this file and close it and now with that config file updated we're just going to restart the server you can either close the server console or you can just press any key in the dos window and that's going to turn the server off and restart it okay so the server is back online we're going to join it now you're going to get a pop-up that looks like this if you don't have the mods installed on your game then this is just going to install them for you it might even ask you to subscribe to these mods which is a steam workshop thing you subscribe to mods so that you can download them if it's not working make sure you are subscribed to the mods it'll give you an option for that and we will launch our game and connect to the server with mods so now you can see we are in the game and to open zomberry admin tools you're going to press the o key and you'll get this admin panel and that is how you get zomberry admin tools working on your daisy server if this video helped you or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. I will see you in another video. Peace.